welcome to another exercise video with Hiruni and Luis. What are we doing today, Hiruni? Today we're going to do drills. And what are these drills for? So drills are basically dynamic stretches that you can do before hard workouts and races. And then you can also use them to work on your form and technique. And you can do it in that scenario after an easy run. So today we're going to do 10 drills. And these are exactly the drills that we do before our workouts and races. And we're going to do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, just to show you. Um, and I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, starting with a skip. Let's do it. So the idea here is to exaggerate the running motion, use your arms, bring your knees high, keep your body as straight as possible, your back should be straight, maybe even lean forward a little bit, never backwards. Or Ideally, you would be doing this going in a forward motion, but since we're inside, it is in place before it's just as fine. That's it. All right, so that was A skip. We're gonna move with B skip, which is the same thing except you bring your leg out like this. Yeah, when you bring it, let knee up, kick it out. Yeah, but the same little jump. Let's start in five seconds. And. So remember, moving your arms, I bring them all the way up. And it would be nice if you can learn them in the same order that we have, because it starts warming up your body. And by six or seven mm -hmm. is when you feel ready to start doing strides. All right, that was B skip, <laughs> and then we move with C. Same little skip, except this time you bring your knee up, and then out. Up, and up. And we're gonna try to do it in sync. Okay. Let's go. So up, up. Once you learn the little skip, Everything is a lot easier because we're going to be doing it for a lot of the exercises that we do. Yeah. And you notice how we started with just bringing the knee up, that was a skip, and then as we went through, made it progressively more difficult but also a little bit more dynamic bringing in different muscle groups so you can warm them up. Yeah, and you're starting to be more loosened up so it gets easier all right so we're staying in the same skipping except now we're gonna bring leg out opposite arm yeah we're gonna bring in your arms and shoulders to the mix here but with the same kind of skip ready mm -hmm. so that's why I said that you really need to learn the skip and kind of like master it after you do that, then all the exercises start becoming easier. And we've been doing this since we were kids, so we kind of have it down now. But gotta start somewhere. How are you feeling, here, Oh, tired. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, that was four, right? Yep. So we're gonna go with number five. Again, kind of same skipping motion, but now we're staying in place, and we're just gonna bounce like this. So mm -hmm. if you see, this is the same skip, just trying to move up. Ready? Let's go. So by exercise number five, you should be 
warmed up and ready to start doing strides. You don't have to do them now, but if you wanted to at the end of each exercise, you could finish with a short stride. We usually do what, five, six strides before a workout? Depends on the day, I guess, but. Yeah, I don't like to do too much just because I'd rather spend my energy on the actual workout. So, I like to just stick to doing these drills. Five seconds, and time. <laughs> See, and what he really says makes sense, but for me, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what, I need to do a little more. Definitely because you're getting older. <laughs> I feel like I need to do more strides in order to feel like I'm ready to do my workout or my race. So now we're gonna do... Jumping jacks. And... Let's go. And when you're out on the field doing this, you're supposed to do this running one way, and then you switch and go the other way. But we're just showing it, so we're staying here for now. Remember to bring your arm up you can either clap or you can cross. That way you remember to do the exercise fully and not stay here. Right. About five seconds to go. Okay, time. Ooh. Ooh, lost track of time almost. Ooh, all right, so by now you should be pretty warmed up, right? Hopefully. Yeah, we touch all the major muscle groups by now. <sighs> all right, so now we're gonna go side to side. Let's do three steps each way. Okay. Starting that way. All right, let's go. So, staying here. When you are out running, what you can do is like 10 seconds each side, and then you flip and go the other side. And remember with this one, you want to hold this like Squat position almost. I think you're activating your hips here. So, very important muscle group there that you can't forget. Five seconds. All right. Cool. Whew. So, that was six. We're gonna start with the last three, right? Mm -hmm which is high knees, butt kicks, and soldiers. Yes. Whew. Okay, so these are like the most intense ones, but you should be ready for them. So high knees. The past six minutes have all been leading up to this moment. Here I want you to remember to move your arms just like if you were running or even in an ex exaggerated way. And again, because these are the last three, what I usually do is uh, this for like 20 seconds or so, and then I finish with a fast strike. Progressive fast strike. Ten seconds. Alright. Cool. Two more. So butt kicks, I actually like butt kicks at the end because your body is like lean forward a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to do this and then go with a stride. Ready? So bring in your heels, trying to touch your butt. And quickly. And also these start getting progressive. So maybe you start easy and then faster, faster, faster. Finish fast and go with this right. Remember moving your arms always. Exaggerate it. Do a sprinter. Five seconds. Okay. Whew. One more and we're done. Yeah. So now, soldier. You're gonna do the same motion. Lock knees. With lock knees. Five seconds to catch your breath. And let's go. Remember here, you have to keep your back straight. Don't go, go 
to lean back. Yeah. Stay straight. And a good way to do it is moving your arms. It helps you stay straight. It's like a swing. Before workouts, before races, and sometimes we do them after easy runs because they work on strengthening your body, injury prevention, and helps you run better. You're running for, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you later. <laughs>